I am so. If you guys know what? I am so fucking ready for this. Satan means. Satan means adversary. That means he's your enemy. Why would people worship their enemy? The goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. I came out here because they're having this Satan con here and they're celebrating evil. Human sacrifice, war, murder, lies. The powers that be, the United Nations, is at war against the American people and against the children. A lot of people don't understand it, but Hitler actually won the war. 1963. So one of my favorite things about these people, whenever you have a video like this, is that the moment that they always unleash their power, they always unleash their power level. I fucking love that. I think it is so funny. It's like, oh shit, awesome, right? Yo, thanks boys. I appreciate it. Hope y'all are having fun. I would have gone, but I don't like leaving the house. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah, that that's the that's the problem. I saw Miskiff got to meet Velvet. That's crazy. Ain't that crazy? Like that's that's crazy. Yeah, Tony Ray. Wait, who's Tony? Well, who's Tony? Like Tony. But yeah, so Lucky Bass. That's damn. Ain't that really something? And uh, <laughs> who's Velvet? Um, she's a uh, uh, she's a content creator. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's a she's a content creator that uh, uh, does a lot of um, uh, cosplay. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's she's a con she's, she's a content creator. Anyway, so uh, Tony, go shut down. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. So I love how whenever they interview somebody, that person always reveals their power level within five seconds. He's like, yeah, so I don't really like Satan. I'm religious, and the UN's against America, and Hitler won World War II. It's like, boom, boom, boom. There it is. Done. Right there. That fast. It's easy. Oh, my God. They banned the Bible in public schools. In 1966, the Church of Satan was founded in San Francisco. The Roman Empire By Anton never LaVey, died. The Pope I is believe. the one saying that the vaccine is a mandate, and that's why the United Nations is the product of... You're showing the rest of the people that's coming around here what you are. I have just decided that I'm a Satanist. Yep, I've just decided um, I am, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and be a Satanist now, guys. I think it's a good idea. Uh, it's, you know, it's a different different way of looking at the world. And, I mean, Satan's an angel, to be honest. So it's like, is he really even a bad guy? Because he's an angel, right? Yeah, I mean, there you go. Yeah, I mean, come on, guys. That's just that simple. But yeah, thank you, Austin, again for the raid. I think actually there, it just actually went through. Yeah, this is good. That's my you sell your soul. Hey, you hey, sold just your tell soul me you're pussy. Meal. Oh, what? Your wife doesn't want to give you pussy? <laughs> oh, wait, you're gay? Look, lady. Oh, God doesn't like that. You what you're talk talking about is a physical really? thing. Really? We're talking mean. about something that goes a lot <laughs> deeper. You oh my god, bro. Like they, they zoom in on that guy. Oh my god. I love him. Jesus Christ versus the cringe words. I think this shit is fucking funny, man. I love this. That zooming? Yeah. You don't really love anyone except yourself. You want to give me a hug? I don't want to give you a hug. You're acting like a prostitute. You're dancing on the street like a whore. I'm a repentant whore. You used to have a lot of sex. <laughs> bro, like this guy is just giving it to him. Oh my god. Uh, he just letting them know. Holy shit. Yeah, it's like this guy is probably the guy that like will go into like some girl screamers chat and be like, you fucking whore, you bitch. You think you can wear that on your stream? You think you can do this? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, he's getting pissed off, man. I, I just to me, it's so funny to see shit like this because like, like he's not totally wrong about like what Satanism is. So, like, the Anton LaVey Satanism, my understanding of this, right, which is, no, I'm not, I haven't read the whole book or anything like that, but the it's the idea of, like, the, the foundation of a, a lot of religion is that man is flawed. You see what I'm saying? And the foundation of Satanism is that man is not flawed. And that's like the Luciferianism about like it being smarter and knowing things. And the, the, the Garden of Eden was a, uh, you know, it's like you, you bite the apple of knowledge, right? And you're forbidden knowledge. And so like the Satanism, the Anton LaVey Satanism, my understanding, is effectively worshiping yourself as a person. 
Uh, it, it's basically like it's an ego Andy religion. That's what I, 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 I think. But there's a, there's a lot more to it than that. But that's my understanding of it. Poor. You used to have a lot of sex? I've done everything she's done and worse. Have you done anal? No. That's evil. That's disgusting. All right, so these shoes... To be honest, I think it is too. Shoes are Demonia's. Um, I bought them yesterday, actually. Oh, my and God. And this is my boyfriend's ring that he gave me. Can you tell oh, us about your mind. outfit? Fuck that bitch. I don't want to see her anymore. I, I don't want to see her. Like, who gives a fuck about her, man? Yeah, no, never mind. Okay, Vans, size 9.5, Vans high tops. Black flex fit cargo pants, oh, Walmart like flannel, Stetson hat. Damn. Bass Pro Shops. What does Satan mean to you? Um, he means a lot. You know, okay. I That's went great. to like seven Catholic schools growing up, and all I've had were bad experiences. I was raped, I was abused, I was treated like shit. Where was my God saving? damn. I was eight. I'm a child. Um, that's weird. You're not a child. Hey, You're only a child mentally. That's hey, brutal. Dude, is that girl old enough for you? She can have a baby. So you're gonna look at a 12-year-old girl on her period and be like, that's a grown-ass woman. In that's Hebrew, weird. a girl gets married when she can get married when she's 13. Are you... Bro, I thought this shit was like about like, like Satanism and shit. Like, I thought this was... I thought this was like Satanism. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? Like, what are they arguing about? Like, this is some... Wait, he's pow like wait, he's powering up? Wait, you're telling me this isn't even his final form? Oh no. Oh my fucking god. Here we go. Hebrew? Jesus says. <laughs> so you turn around, you ignorant piece of shit. Just like when a man is old enough to uh, ejaculate, he can he's a man. Physically, physically, maybe not emotionally, maybe not spiritually, they're not ready for marriage, but that's because our society... What is the difference between a Catholic... It's just like, that's... Uh, I, I find that, like, you can't even... The, the truth is, like, you can't even really have a, a, a conversation about this because people assume that you're trying to say something weird, right? And, and like, in my opinion, like, yeah, sure... It's like they, they tell you that in the Bible. Is that really what's true? I think it's just silly. Like, it, it's just fucking silly. Uh, it's weird. Yeah, I think so, too. And um, anyway, I, I think that this is what happens with a lot of people, especially people that grow up religious, is that a, a lot of people that at least I've seen that are, like, into, like, this Satanism stuff, etc., these are people who are doing it contrary to uh, what their parents brought them up for, right? It's, it's like a... Um, it, it, it's it's it, it's contrarianism it, it's not arrived at through it through a direction of like oh i i'm i'm following this because i believe in this it's that i'm following this because this is the opposite of what i was brought up as right it's a form of rebellion rather than a form of like belief Catholic like priest and a zit tell us the zit at least waits till you're 12 to come on your face uh, that's very cute, and it's true. Can you tell us your thoughts about that guy? The thing is, is I don't think these are Jesus Christ. Bad people. They're just misinformed. If you love evil, God will give you evil. If you love good, God will give you good. Hey, I was sitting on the edge of my bed praying every night that an angel came and took me away from my dad who was raping and abusing me. But did he save me? No. You want to know who did? You want to know who did? The Satanist Temple. Because they donated. They helped me. They got me and my mom out of an abusive situation. What uh -oh. did the church do? Nothing. They told me I was wrong for having sex with my dad. They rape children. That's a part of that religion. That's why I told you. So the Satanist Church um, really helped me and my mom out of an... Here, let me just go ahead and say something that's going to be really fucking brutal. Okay? Is that people everywhere all over the world rape kids. This is nothing that anybody has a monopoly over. Everybody does this. Every country does this. Every group of people does this. This is what happens. Because people are shit. They're absolute fucking animals. They've done this for, for thousands of years. The difference with the Catholic Church is that they tried to hide it and protect the people that did it. People aren't really mad. Like For me personally, I wasn't really mad that it happened. I was mad that it got protected. I think, yeah, yeah, this stuff can happen, sure. Like, it's that's the way it goes. I mean, yeah, absolutely. But, like, protecting it and trying to save those people is what's bad. Like, no, it shouldn't happen. 
Uh, facts. Oh, I, I'm. Uh, oh, you guys have to understand. I am not an idealist. I, I am not an idealist in any regard. Okay. Like I, I expect the worst out of people, and usually I'm right. So it, it's it's not that I, I wasn't upset about this. I, well, trash take. Yeah. See, people that are mad about me saying this, people intentionally misunderstanding. Yeah. People intentionally are misunderstanding what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not going to explain myself. I think any rational person who looks at this without some emotionally fucking charged perspective would immediately know what I'm saying, and people that are mad at it are just emotionally attached to it. Yeah, they're being sheep. I, 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 I explained my point perfectly well. Uh, I, it's like I wasn't surprised or upset that this happened because it happens all over the time, all over the place. Of course, this is just how people are. People are shit. I was upset that they protected the people and they were trying to hide from it. I think that's what's much worse because that's the factory that creates the problem and it will continue to happen as long as that's the case. Now, if people think that's a bad take or that's a bad way to approach it, um, I think that you just don't understand what I'm saying. Abusive situation by raising funds to get us a nice stable apartment in a nice area. And it was away from my dad and it was away from all of my abusive family members. And that's the difference between them and us is that we approach it from a, I don't care who you are or what you believe, you're a person, I'm going to take care of you. Like, you want an abortion? That's your right. It's not my body. I don't care. You want to change your sex? You want to love who you love? That's the difference. Yep. You know, if I needed an abortion, if she needs an abortion, they're fighting to take that away from every woman. Breaking news out of Washington, an unprecedented leak from the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court could be poised to strike down on Roe v. Wade. Yeah, I've heard about that. that. States can criminalize abortion at all points during pregnancy. Without that is crazy. Like, because that's been the law for like 40 fucking years, you know? And, and now they're thinking about getting rid of uh, of abortion. Like, America moving back 100 years? Well, there's a lot of people that don't like abortion. It, it's actually surprising to me. Like, I, I mean, look. Were you expecting me to have like a... Um, do, do, you were not expecting me to care about people, were you? I mean, come on, <laughs> you know. So I don't have a problem with abortion. But, like, just in general, uh, there's a lot of people that really fucking hate it. Like, it actually freaks them out. Yeah, it, it's they are not happy at all about this. Now, I think they might do it. Now, in, in Texas, they're already trying to do it exceptions for cases of rape incest human trafficking justices clarence thomas brett kavanaugh yeah. voted to support the alito opinion are you with i him? would have never guessed that they would have been the people that would have done that how could you ever guess that uh only problem with, with fetuses after stem cell harvesting yeah I, I don't really know i mean to me like i've uh no arguments about how many weeks it should be yeah i mean i just here's here's how i've always looked at it and i don't want to get into like a big abortion conversation or anything like that is that Yes, sure, there are people out there that have abortions willy-nilly and this happens, absolutely. But I think a lot of like late-term abortions and things like this, these are decisions that are not made willy-nilly. These are decisions that are made whenever it's discovered that the kid is going to have some sort of like uh, fucking genetic defect to where like it, it, like it dies in like six months or something like that. Uh, it's something really, really bad. Usually these decisions to have late-term abortions are not done because of just negligence or something like that. It's something that's absolutely horrible that happens, and people just choose to not have the kid because they're going to commit the kid to a life of, of pain and torture. Like, that's really why I've seen a lot of these things happen. Like, these are not people that have carried the kid for six months, and then they just decide one day, wait a minute, never mind, I changed my mind. These are people, they, they've already picked out a name for the kid. They've already maybe gotten baby clothes for the kid, and then they find something like this out. Uh, it's a fucking tragedy, man. It, it really is. So I'm not going to go around and, and fucking condemn people for that. Uh, is it really the morally objective and the morally better thing to condemn a kid to a life of absolute like pain and torture because his organs are born outside of his body uh, just for some sense of, uh, you know, like whatever you want to call it, like moral superiority? I don't really think that's the case. Yeah, I, I don't think that's the case at all. I, I think that it's in a lot of ways, it, it's like, I mean, we put our cat down. We killed our cat whenever it was dying. We killed it. And that's what we did. And it was the better thing to do. It's a hard decision to make, but uh, I think it's it's sometimes the right decision to make.
Look across the street? No, no, no. I run a pro-life organization, <laughs> ironically. I'm just here to uh, talk to them about the abortion issue. You have people flipping us off, screaming at us, and like just, I'm like, hey dude, I'm just trying to get an interview, you know? Christians will, will literally stand outside of abortion clinics or other churches or these kinds of events and turn it into a spectacle for their cause. They're not oh, yeah. here to listen. They're here to put in the Well, hour. he's a content creator. He's making content. Hey, that's what he's there for. He's there for a video. Like, I mean, what do you expect? Like, obviously, like, that's what it is. A uh, hundred fucking percent. Pro-lifers happen whenever they come to these things. Yeah, it, it's just like, that's what it is. Content comes first. Exactly. Uh, I think that obviously people are going to get pissed off because you're taking away something they can do. Anytime that somebody's able to do something and then you say, wait a minute, no, you can't do that. Of course, people are going to get pissed off about it. Uh, absolutely. And uh, it's just like Spain harass people from getting abortions. Oh, yeah, it, it's a very uh, uh, it's a very brutal topic. I'll say that for sure. People get pissed off. Is for their church and point and be like, this is this, this, this is, is this. Yeah. yeah. This for them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What kind of music do you guys like? Um, I'm a big Rob Zombie fan. All right. Dragula. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. R.I.P. Fredo. Hail Satan. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I don't know. I don't know. It's you cool, though. Him? No. We just view Satan as a literary figure to look up to. We know. Yeah, they don't worship Satan in Satanism. Now, this is a misunderstanding. Uh, I, 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 like, there's some, some people that do, like, they, they, they do and they don't, right? It's like they view him as a, um, like, as, as an ideal. They do and they don't. Yeah, I, I think they, uh, let me think of a way to put it. I don't know. I'm trying to basically just counterculture. No, it's not. Small group does. Yeah, it's like an it's an ideal. Like he represents an ideal of seeking knowledge. We're absolutely certain that Adam and Eve are just a parable. God is the Lord of lies. God himself is a lie. What's the worst thing that Satan ever did? He tried to reason with Jesus. Hail Satan! Wow. You know what my favorite part about this is? Is the preacher for the church looks exactly how you would expect. It's like if, if you were wondering like, oh, who's the preacher for like, you know, Satanism or whatever. It, it's this guy like, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, that's the guy, right? Like, obviously, that's what it is. Yeah, he's got death metal practice after that. Yeah, he listens to Burzum on his way home. It, it's that simple. Thank you very much. This is just nonsense that this hotel, the city of Scottsdale, yeah. would even permit something like this. It's just evil, and they're pulling this crap. They're trying to get it into our schools. I don't know if you're aware of in Illinois, a district out there, they have a Satan club for children. I mean, this I, I think indoctrinating kids into religion in any regard is um, not something that should be supported by the government at all. I, I'm not a fan of this. Like, I, I think they should take out the under God into the const and the, the Pledge of Allegiance. I think that's it's, it's just it's outrageous. You know, they only added that because of McCarthyism in the 50s. It's not like it was like that in 1831. Yeah, they, they added that like my dad said the first time my dad ever said the Pledge of Allegiance. It wasn't there. He's, he's an old fuck. So, like, that's what you expect. But like, yeah, there's a lot of people. It's just that's. They don't know that, and they think this is like something that they had, uh, that they built the country off of. It's not really true. It's disgusting. Now, I think this. Sa I think. Uh, oh, here we go. Um, I I think like indoctrinating kids into Satanism is just as bad as indoctrinating them into any other religion. Like, quit doing that. Quit trying to make the. Quit trying to use the schools as a vehicle to 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 force people into your ideology. Here we go. In case you're wondering if it's really a spiritual war we're watching, here's this news story. The Illinois Elementary School is offering an after-school Satan Club. It's sponsored by the Satanic Temple of the United States. I'm June Everett, the after-school Satan Club uh, campaign director for the Satanic Temple. Okay, I'll start from the beginning. Good News Club became a thing back in 2001 when they had a Supreme Court hearing. I think that, like, really... Are all of the girls that are Satanists hot? 
I think we really need to rethink. We need to rethink the way that we orient ourselves here. Yeah, mostly like this is a it's a requirement. I I think we might have to see what these guys have to say. Yeah, they're crazy as fuck. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't know, but it's just damn. It's like that's where you get the big titty golf girl. You got to fish where the fish are, right? Did you see the room earlier? Yeah, it's mostly a bunch of fucking neckbeard guys, right, that wear, you know, metal t-shirts. Yeah, sure. But there's a few hot girls there, which is pretty good. In Milford County School District in New York. What is Good News Club? Good News Club is an exciting opportunity for elementary age kids to participate in an engaging and uplifting after school program and hear life changing lessons from God's true word, the Bible. The Good News Club is in 6,500 um, public schools across the nation. Prides itself on getting other children to indoctrinate their peers by, you know, using threats of internal dam damnation and hell. And so what After School Satan Club is doing is offering a safe alternative to those clubs. We don't actually teach Satanism. We don't. Jesus Christ, I want to go to the moon. I need to DM Elon Musk and see where we are in this whole uh, on this whole Mars situation. Like, I am so sick of this stupid shit, man. Like, I'm really like, how close are we on this Mars situation? Like, this is just, it's so like, the, the, like them fighting it is stupid. The fucking, uh, the religious club after school is stupid. Like, I'm just, oh my God, bro. Like, what is this? Like, why am I, like, what is, what is wrong with the world, man? It just makes me so mad. All right, here we go. Let's watch it. Um, try to prophesize to the children. We don't have stuff like that in the club. Like, it's mostly Uno and crafts and shit. Why do you think the city of Scottsdale allowed this to happen? Because George, George Soros' money paid them all. Uh -huh. George Soros had contributed $300,000 for this event to occur. He contributed a bunch of money. Where did you hear that from? From other people in the, that have done the research. Oh, okay, yes. See, this is what people do. Is once you once you play the game of telephone long enough, People just assume that what you heard is true. Source, trust me, bro. Yeah, exactly. Well, there's some guy that said that he did it because, like, uh, you know, it is what it is. Now, COVID was the gates to opening all this up. Six feet apart, wear slave muzzles. Um, that's uh, very satanical. I like that. Slave muzzles. That is a new one. Holy shit. This guy is... That, this is a real one. Oh, my God. Slave muzzles. What does he say? Uh, vote your faith. All lives matter to God. We the people. <laughs> oh, my God. I wonder what George Washington would think of that. Jesus Christ. They're not really looking at the huge big picture like eternal. Oh. You know, you're going to go to hell. My name yeah. is Renee Gregori, and I am the spokesperson for Southern California Congregation of the Satanic Temple. Our mission He's is to spread Rob benevolence Zombie. and empathy. We look at Satan as a symbol for our values, compassion, yeah. justice, uh, respecting the freedom and autonomy of others, a reliance on science as a guide. If children are in the schools and they're being abused, we'll have attorneys to protect those children from that. Uh, we have. I think that it's a, um, I, I, I don't like the idea of worshiping science either. Because I think that the nature, like by the, like by the act of worshiping science, you are, uh, you, you are you're perverting what science is, and so like in, in my opinion, like science is not a belief system, it is a, it, it is a solution to a problem. Like it, science fundamentally is not anything that is like solid or anything like that. You see what I'm saying? Like you, you, the only thing that I think should really be like, I guess you could say worshipped, is the ability for the mind to be able to approach reality through science. Not the findings themselves. Because those are, of course, subject to change, and they change all the time. The rights where we support the rights of women and people who can have babies. Do you believe in the afterlife? There's no scientific evidence that supports an afterlife. What if I died in a park and then my body decomposed into dirt and then a tree grew out of the dirt? So technically, like the cells within the tree are like stemming from my kind of. There is no evidence scientifically for any of that. I don't like hate my parents or anything for raising us Christian. <laughs> it just kind of is the way that it is. My mother is begrudgingly supportive. Say, wait. Belize a bubble soap works. He's a satanic soap maker.
I don't even. It's using the Diablo font. Oh my god! I love this. This is so good. This is our uh, homemade soap business. It keeps getting we do better. Satanic and heavy metal themed soap. They all have yeah. a drop of virgin blood in them. No, <laughs> I'm just joking. Cash app. The best way to pay for satanic bath soap if you don't have cold hard cash. To pay <laughs> for satanic bath soap. But you gotta understand, cash app is more than just a peer-to-peer -peer money sending service. It's kind of like a bank. And it's a great way to invest in stocks and cryptocurrency. And guess what? You can use code CHANNEL5 for a free 15 bucks for new users. The Satanic Temple is hosting a it's Satan a good little commercial in there. Scottsdale, and it is expected to set a record of being one of the largest Satanist gatherings. And there's gonna be a dozen people there. Uh, it, it's like, this is one of the things that people do is they treat like Satanism, like the religion of Satanism, uh, as like a massive, like huge problem and everything like that. Like there's really not that many people that believe this kind of stuff. Crypto Satan, yeah, there you go. Uh, it, there's really not like it's it's just like a it's like a point three percent like I I think that's probably too many I would assume that it's even less than that yeah I paint them as a shield yeah it's just crazy you know, I think obviously the the like my opinion of this is that like if you can rent out governmental buildings and, and like they can give the ability to like do this for like Christians or whatever well a Satanist should be able to do it too because that's the way that that you know you. That's the way the game's played. It's like you either do it for everybody or nobody. Hundreds of Christians swarmed outside the Saguaro Hotel because right behind them is the first ever Satanist convention. The event is sold out as well as the Satanic Temple's impurity. I, mean, I would show up. Like if this happened in Austin, I would go to the Satanic event. Uh, event. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, uh, 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 fuck yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, Satan Con? Yeah, when, when's Satan Con gonna be? Yeah, I would stream it. Yeah, exactly. I'd do it for content. Ball tonight at Pub Rock Live. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Oh my God, at the hour of death. Amen. In the ocean, I will fall. Oh my god, it's the salt from Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh my god. Oh my god, they've got Morton salt. They got Morton salt. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Like, I want y'all to know this. Like, there are people right now that, um, they don't have a house. Okay, so just keep this in mind. They don't have a house. And this is what we focus on. This is what the problem is right here. Do they have garlic? Uh, I'm sure the Satanists do, yeah. Guy goes to the... Yeah. The guy says to the doc, he says to his friend, yeah. uh, says to the doctor... They're just going to use the things that they, it's okay. they want to I, use. It's They're right, not going right. to use the good things. Uh, uh, They're going to use the bad things. Okay. But that's Local like hater. True and real. The word, the people, the word doesn't know, know about the good gonna, things. We'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. They picked the past. They picked the past. Prayer is more powerful, pick, more powerful than, than talking yeah. to somebody that's going to cut. Do you think, do you think, do you think a Catholic needs to know that? Well, I'm just letting you know you don't have You're to. You're not doing it. You're overdoing it. No, you could do whatever you want. Yeah. Doesn't sound like it. Our church at the moment is the one true church, but it's corrupt right now. One true church. It's been taken over by homosexuals. And we're protesting that as well. Satanist conference at this hotel. Pray, pray, pray. If you trust the blood of Jesus, you will be saved. It doesn't. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, I think that, like, you know what my opinion is? I think they should. I, I think they've got every right to go out there and protest. I do. I, I think that these. I, I think they're clowns, right? Sure, but I think they have every right to go out and protest and every right to go out and do this stuff. It's totally fucking fair, man. That's the way it goes. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, party bike though. I see that. Yeah, definitely. Like that's the that, that's the beauty of having a, a free country is people can do this. Doesn't matter if you're gay, if you lie before, it doesn't matter. God loves you. <laughs> Those are just people like they're like we're gonna go to that Satanist ritual. Like they give a fuck. Like they're 
their main concern is getting home before the game starts. Like their hope, and like you know, that's the thing. Yeah, they're they're trying to get home before the game starts. It's that simple. That's the real problem for them, man. Where are we at? Bush, Scottsdale, Arizona. Scottsdale, baby. This fucker's getting married. Getting fucked up, baby. I love it, baby. Who are you getting married to, baby? And the baby. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh my God. <laughs> you want some alcohol now? Yeah. Let's go! Oh my, my name god. Is Democritus, and that's enough. Go ahead. <laughs> Just my name's Trey, and uh, I'm 24. You guys seem to have some kind of disagreement. Is that true? Okay, I have a tendency. Um, I apologize. I have a tendency oh my to be god. Loquacious. Uh, loquacious means talking at length. But succinctly, basically, hypothetically, there's no demons or angels or gods or devils, okay? It's just humans with overactive imaginations. But sometimes uh -huh. we get stories that are profound and beautiful and enlightening, like Satan. Go ahead. Channel 5, epic debate number one. Okay. Democritus versus Trey. This is going to be good. You're a Christian, Catholic, yep. And you are a Satanist. I'm actually um, transcendent of every ism. But, uh, you know, Satanism might- This is the guy. How much karma do you think he has on Reddit? Yeah, how much karma? I mean, I think this has got to- This is like- This is a 100k Andy minimum. Minimum 100k Andy. Like, this is a guy who leaves a comment on a YouTube video with 200 views, and the comment has over, like, 2,000 words on it. <laughs> and then the person <laughs> who sees it- Makes a video. <laughs> they delete the comment. <laughs> they just delete the comment. Shut up, idiot. <laughs> no. Dig. I dig Satan. I, I mean, he's a profound character from mythology. He's so cool. You know, he defies infinite authority. Isn't that groovy? We need more of that kind of rebel balls we need more satan's balls in the world kicking ass okay how'd you get the name democritus i was in an anarchist bookstore that's what's up and there was a random stranger and we got into a conversation and then there's uh, no way this is a real person there there's no way like is this really a, oh this is a like i i can't believe like this is like you know what this reminds me of this is like whenever you go to somewhere and you see a guy with a my little pony t-shirt and he's got a neck beard. He's wearing a fedora with cargo shorts and sandals on. It, it's like you go to the zoo and like you always hear about a zebra. You think like, oh man, like zebras are like horses, but they're like white and black and shit. It's like, wow, that's kind of cool. But like you never, you go to the zoo and you see like, that's a real fucking zebra. This is like the ones in the books. And that's the way I feel if I see somebody who's like, it, it's literally the stereotype. That's the real one. It's right there. It's a zebra. Holy shit. It's a rare spawn. Yeah. I was thinking, you know what? I, it, this is America where everybody has the same name and everybody dresses the same and everybody looks the same and everything's the same and it's fucking boring. Okay. Random stranger got in a conversation. He dared me to change my name. So I did. There it is. Do you dig Satan? No, I don't. No. Why not? Well, he was uh, he was telling me, my buddy over here, uh -huh. he was telling me he was inspired by him because he rebelled against no. authority. And um, I told him to stick with the hypothetical, Satan's in hell for all of eternity, burning. Uh, so <laughs> so that's where I was kind of thinking to myself. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I mean, that, that pretty much settles it, right? I mean, he's in hell. I mean, fuck, you, do you want to be there? No, but don't worship Satan. I mean, obviously, like, that sucks, man. Like, why the fuck? Like, yeah, you don't want to do that. I mean, that guy's loose. He's on fire. Like, you want to be on fire? No, it's hot. That makes sense. Well, that's a stupid ideology. It's well, stupid. you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Church. Do I like church? No, it's an expression. It means, like, you, what you're saying has been validated. I'm not familiar with like you hip hop kids, you know, I'm the- What made you choose the blue bandana? Uh, you know, I, I just happened to grab it. I think, you know, the mask is kind of a smart thing yeah. with like the pandemic and all that, you know? I'm gonna 
bounce out of here. Anything else you want to say to Democritus? Wait, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Yes, I have sexual fetishes. It's something that's inherent in basically. There's no way, like, this is real. There's no way, like, this guy's got to be fucking trolling. Like, he's got to be fucking trolling, man. Like, I'm telling you, like, this has got to be, like, it, it, it's this has got to be, like, a paid actor or, or something, man. Like, I, there's no way that this person exists. Anybody. Basically, um, Fred was onto something when he said, hey, when you suppress yourself. How do I feel about the rappers that look like me? Oh, man, those guys are a bunch of clowns, dude. That's what. Wait. Are you telling me that the first thing Andrew asked this guy is how does he feel about rappers that look like him? Holy fuck. That is the greatest question I've ever heard. Oh my God. That is so good. Wow. I tattooed my eyes so I can like kind of stand away from that. You know, like they're kind of great. Uh, that's not Booba. Um, that's a, it's a picture of uh, Bahamut. Or not Bahamut, uh, Baphomet. Bahamut, that's Final Fantasy. Uh, it's Baphomet. Baphomet is neither male nor female. It's an androgynous being. So uh, it's actually not a, it's not a girl's boob. Because it's, a, it's an androgynous being that does not have a gender. Yeah. It's not a mod you wouldn't do. It's not Bahamut. Remove a finger or some shit. You know somebody who's done that on purpose? Yeah, yeah, I know like two or three people. Why did they remove the finger? They just like were tired of it? What the? Yeah. Oh, oh this is Johnny Depp's friend. The guy doesn't ever want to get married, so he removed this one. Can't you just, like, not get married? Uh, yeah, I know. It's just Brazilian dudes are weird, you know what I mean? To you. <laughs> they just, like, were tired of it? Yeah. I remove a finger or some shit. You know somebody who's done that on purpose? Yeah, I know, like, two or three people. Why did they remove the finger? They just, like, were tired of it? Yeah. Well, one of the guys doesn't ever want to get married, so he removed this one. Can what the fuck? Why do but wait, yeah. But he still has a ring on the finger. So it it didn't work. It it didn't even work. He still got a ring on it. Yeah, he's he, he bent it. Maybe. Can't you just like not get married? Uh, yeah, I know. It's just Brazilian he dudes are weird. It? Oh. You know what I mean? To you, what is the cause of Satanism? Man, just like you know, we're our own masters. Are those permanent fangs? Yeah, permanent fangs, implants and shit. I got the moon. I used to have the pentagram here. I got these the little mini horns. This is my chip right here. Pretty much like a PayPal kind of thing. I could pay stuff with that. It even glows in the dark and everything. These do as well. If you ever want some, hit me up, man. I'll pass. I'll Bro, like this guy, like I, that's so fucking weird. What the fuck? Like, he's building pentagram? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, this guy, it, it's like this guy's already... It's like this guy's almost 75 in Vampire Survivors. Like, I'm sorry, like, I, 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 had, I had to do it. So, Texas. Are you guys Satanists? Um, not yet, but okay. we'll see what happens by the end of the day. Oh, of course. Like, I'm, I'm interested. Trend? A lot of people join at, to some level to be kind of contrarian. But yes. There is tangible benefit to being anti-establishment when that establishment is, you know, homophobic. They will tell you, do not have sex with men. Do you guys have any favorite songs or dances or talents? I like 100 Gex. I like 100 Gex too, all sped up. I'm a huge Gecker as well. I learned it from him. What do you think the Gex would say if they were at this event? Uh, I think they'd be all for it. Gecked up in Satanist merch. I think they'd appreciate the same things he did. Like, about how just accepting the I don't know who they are. I know that's what, like, they try to make with their own community. <laughs> hearing this name Kardashian for, for years. I'm like, well, who is she? No way. They got an interview with the big man himself. Oh my God. They got an interview. This, this is the wizard. Oh no. I'm ready. This is the final boss. Let's go. And why is she famous? Have you figured it out now? Eventually I figured out, okay, so she's some girl with a butt. All right, big damn deal. Who, who's not dating Pete Davidson? If you think about heaven, you don't really want that. I'd rather just die. Snorting cocaine off a male prostitute's ass. They're going to go out into the desert. Man, that is just really something, isn't it? Nothing's weird, another religion's... Oh my God, he's still alive? Yeah, he's chilling, man. It's totally fucking normal. Yeah, absolutely.
desert tonight to an undisclosed location and they're going to have a impurity ball. It's a festival of orgy and it's a festival of animal sacrifice. They usually sacrifice goats or dogs during Lupercalia. No orgies! No, no Satan! What does this say? During Lupercalia. No orgies! Jesus said unto him, I oh it's just a random fucking Bible quote? Oh my god, man. Oh. No, no Satan, Satan. No, no orgies, all Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Right over there is where the impurity ball is being held. We're going to go ahead and preach a little bit here. I pray for these souls. Channel 5, epic debate, number 2. Aaron oh my... Aaron Ra, verse... Oh my god. Is he about to go up against... Oh, oh no! This is not looking good. It's a warlock versus a holy priest. I love this shit. This is so fucking funny. This is, this is the battle of, of wizards. Yeah. Based Christian live streamers outside the impurity ball. Oh, here we go. I, I am not going that. to be like you and lie to it, pretend though. that I know things I don't. If you there evidently that. is no God nor a possibility of God, and all we have is evidence against God, then the only possible deduction we can make is there is no God. Logic is evidence of God. There is no logic that is evidence of God. There is no evidence of God. You just acknowledge that logic exists outside of time and space. I'm so glad that I live in a time that crazy people can make it known to everyone else so we can use them for content. Aren't we so, like, aren't we so lucky? Like, because, like, a hundred years ago, nobody knew about these people. Like, we never, we never knew. Like, there's no way we could have ever found out about this. Yeah, this is great. Like, yeah, it, it's a double-edged sword. Yeah, that that's exactly. Aaron's a pro professional debater. Wait, who? Which one is Aaron? Is Aaron the, uh... The which one's Aaron? He's the warlock? Wait, what? Oh, no. <laughs> it's a level way. Oh, no. Your belief system is right. based on a logical fallacy. No, it's not. I'm the saying... The question, listen, Mickey, you just described listen, it. Listen, listen, you're operating on a presupposition that there's no... No, I don't no, do Yes, you are. Don't talk to me about presupposition. You, but you Presuppositionalism are. is you the are. stupidest of all arguments. But you are. We are. Presupp no, we don't. Of course you do. No, we don't. You're presupposing. Will you shut the fuck up and let me say a sentence? You've been talking the whole time, though. You're all talking to me. Go for it. I'm gone. I can't say No, no, no. Let me back in. Where does logic come from? Bro, like, look, it even looks like he has shoulder pads on. Holy fuck, look. It's actually like he has shoulder pads on. Oh my god, this guy's amazing. So he's 3v1ing them and then he leaves. You don't know. You don't know. And the best part about this is the fact that the, uh, the, the, the guys, the Christian guys, are going to be like, man, he was afraid of us. We were bringing God into his life. He started to feel it and he ran away back to Satan. He couldn't stand to have Jesus in his heart. Like in their mind, guaranteed they won. Like I'm talking about like 100%. They were just, they, they're the best. Absolutely. They won. He can talk in circles, but when you challenge him on that one point, what happens? He gets frustrated and walks off. It's... <laughs> These are the same people that he banned me because I was telling the truth. Yeah, that's what it was. Pre-watch? Yeah, exactly. I, I, I what know what you see there on. is a man that hates God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, is this this shit is good, right, for TOS? Like, is, is this good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, cool. I just had to make sure. Yeah, we gotta get one of these. Yeah. Um. Actually, I won't make that joke. It's fine. Oh, it's it's oh, hey, guys, it's okay. Listen, they're wearing masks. It's fine, okay. Hail Satan! <laughs> I am 
actually born and raised Roman Catholic, so this is a bit cathartic. Burlesque is freeing. It's art, but using your body as the canvas. It's the art of seduction, but it's also kind of like an art of storytelling. Oh my God. And it's just this like release of anything that's like weighing on your own shoulders. Yes, there are weird as shit Jesus. fucking protesters here. It's Arizona. Need prayer? Jesus still loves you. We love Jesus. We came to let the members of the Satanic Temple know that Jesus still loves them and offer them prayer. That's nice. I think that's nice. That's a, Those are good guys, you know? Like, they're not there to fight and argue and yell at them. They're just trying to be nice guys, and they're doing what they think is the best thing. You know, they're just, they're just two good boys that happen to love Jesus, right? Yeah, they're weirder than the Satanists? I don't really think so. I think these are just people, they have a different view on things. Here's the way I, like, it's the, like, what's the old Reddit meme? Religion's like a dick. It's fine if you have it, but it's not okay to take your, take it out and wave it around in front of everybody. Like, I, I think it's, yeah, like, I, I think that's the, that, that's, that's what made sense. Like, yeah, just watch. All right, here we go. Maybe some of them have church hurt. Um, have had bad experiences at church before. To set the mind on the things of the flesh is death, but to set your minds on the things of the spirit is life. It's not saying just don't think about fleshly things and worldly things, it's saying think about the things of heaven, think about good things. Yeah. I went to a rave once. I got head from a stranger. I went off to college and became my own person and uh, didn't really adhere to the Christian uh, ethics. My brother yeah. passed away of a drug overdose last January. After that, I uh, knew that I didn't have as much time as I thought I did. And I think that made me reconsider taking Christianity more seriously. There's certain music for me that I... Yeah, I mean, that sucks, man. Like, I think that's what happens with a lot of these people. Like, you see this a lot. Uh, and, and, like, obviously, it, it's like... It's funny to laugh at the goofiness, but like a lot of these people, like the reason why they have like these extreme points of view and like these really kind of fucking, you know, like weird perspectives on shit is because they had some bad shit happen in their life and they're coping with it in one way or another, right? Or they're trying to solve it in one way or another. Uh, I think that happens all the time, man. That's uh, my story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a mental problem with this guy. No, it's like a traumatic event like realigned their life in a new way or it made them so stressed out that they start looking at life through a different lens i i think that's kind of what happens yeah these guys are not like they're not really bad people it's a people are a product of their environment how is this extreme i i feel like if you're going in the middle of the night with like a, a sign there to like uh tell satanists that jesus loves them I, I find that to be like most people just go to church and then they jack off when they go home right and then they go to confession uh you know i've been having impure thoughts and they just kind of then they say two hail marys or uh you know like a fucking uh, you know like an our father and, and then they leave and then they jack off again right like that's what th this is this is the normal religion i mean guys come on let's be honest yeah, Father, I've said, I used to have to go to confession. I, I went to confession many times. Naturally like, but I know I shouldn't sometimes as a Christian. Like, I was a big metalhead and stuff. Still really am. I'm like a metalhead that found out he could rhyme. I don't really know why these people worship Satan. I can't even taste it. I can't even be that way. I think the Holy Spirit definitely helps me out in whatever he's called me to do, whether it's reaching Satanists or spitting bars for Jesus Christ. Pulled up, talking to Satanists, don't know where their Satan is, but yeah, I'm on vacation, kids, yeah, I'm just a Christian, out here on a mission, listen, giving God submission, that's just how I kick it, like I'm doing this kung fu, ain't scared of that kung fu, no, I'm just out here eating. Did he honestly put in a lyric about COVID? Just out of fucking nowhere. Like, put in a lyric about COVID. Like, oh my God. It's just kidding. Step out. Like, that's holy shit. Oh my God, man. There's people in this video knows how to rap. I don't know. I think it's just like maybe a normal person that, uh, it's like a normal person. Th they never have a camera on them. So, like, you put a camera on them and they're like, well, I guess I should rap now, right? Oh, COVID racism. I like, it's probably just a joke for most people. 
Like the thing is, like you joke around, like, people just say that shit. It's not a, it's, like, it's not racist, right? Like they're not trying to. It's like they, they hate people that way. It's just some fucking funny thing to say. It's a, yeah, it's a joke, man. It's tone deaf for sure, but it's a joke. Food, trying to praise Jesus, he's what I believe in. Ain't no need for demons harder than cement. That's how all the bars go. Yeah, I'm from North Fargo, just kidding. Minneapolis, oh my Come god, your kid. it's yeah, not me, it's know not me. Shut down businesses, ain't you even heard of this linguistic flipping written scripts? Yeah, uh, Th to be fair, this guy is better than most of the flat earthers. You remember the Flat Earther Convention? It, it could have been a... Like, that, that, they could have done that in, in, down in, in fucking Houston with all the rappers. Like, this guy's a pretty good one. I'm impressed. Uh. <laughs> so, here we've got West Virginia Satanic Temple. I learned wow. to fight when I was young. How come? Because my name is Dick Tingler. My legal name is Dick Tingler. I yeah, I can see that. Dick Tingler. I mean, man, this guy's playing the game on hard mode. Like, it's like, imagine, like, how could you possibly, like, how could a parent, you know that your last name is Tingler, and you give them the name Richard. Like, honestly, that should be considered child abuse. Yeah, Dick, yeah, D Dick Tingler the second. Yeah, it's like they've already done this wrong once. We've already seen what happened the first time, and now we're here for round two? Change my name to Barnabas. I have no doubt these guys are sincere. Why else are they sitting out here at 10.30 at night if they weren't sincere about hoping to reach somebody? I can respect that, okay? At the end of the day, I'm not saying I agree with them. Or am I? But <laughs> that doesn't mean I don't respect you. Okay. Take me home to the place I belong. Oh my West God. Virginia, Mountain Mama. Take me oh home. My home country roads. Yeah, this video was as good as I thought it would be. Like, it is. Like, I have been looking forward to watching this video ever since, like, a day or so whenever it came out. Like, I, I did, this was so fucking good. It was actually a wholesome video. Yeah, in general. Uh, what Christian said at the beginning about uh, children genuinely horrifying. Yeah, it's weird, man. It is. It's definitely weird. Draw out straight bars from him when he meets is astounding. Yeah, just give me one second. He's banned on Twitch? No, he got unbanned. I I'm pretty sure Gideon's not banned on Twitch anymore. Uh, let's see here. We live in such a weird world. Andrew's perfect for highlighting this. Yeah, it's just nuts that, that should happen, man. It is. And uh, not Mark Rover video. I don't know about that. What happened with Quantum TV? Uh, he's um, <laughs> he's probably one of the counter protesters here. Okay, let's be fucking honest. Yeah, Channel Five is the best content. Like it is so fucking good, man. I love Channel Five. Let me see the Gideon video, okay?